Hi everybody, my name is Kristen and I'm the Oboe Graduate Assistant here at Columbus State University where in less than a week we will be hosting this summer's 2016 International Double Read Society Conference. And while we hope you all are getting super excited for the conference, I just wanted to take some time to show you guys the very cool new app that we're going to be using this summer to make your conference experience that much better. The app is called Guidebook. You can download the app on your iPhone, your Android device, any tablet that you may have. You'll be able to find the app in your app store. And once downloaded to your screen, you'll see it as the blue box with the G inside. From there, when you select the app, it'll take you to a prompt screen to create a profile. You can create your profile using your Facebook, your email, whatever is most convenient for you, and it will log you into the app. From there, here is the app home screen. Once you are logged in and download the IDRS guide, you'll see the guide here in your saved guides, um, but for now, yours will probably be empty. What you can do is if you see the search box right there, you will go ahead and select that search box, type in International Double Read Society Conference, and our guide will pop up probably first on the list, and you'll see that IDRS logo in the corner. Once you've selected that guide, it'll ask you to download it. Go ahead and download the guide, and this will bring it to your guidebook homepage. Then select to open your guide. Once you've opened the guide, you'll see this year's conference guidebook homepage. From here, you'll see some pictures of the Columbus State University venues. You'll see a map of the area, as well as a small description of the conference itself. Up in the right-hand corner, you'll see the little circle. That will lead you to your personal profile. In there, you can add a picture, you can add contact information, or you can leave it totally blank for privacy. It's completely up to you and your preferences, but that will help others know who you are, and um, maybe recognize and find you as a friend at the conference. So then, while looking at the home screen, on the top left corner, you'll see the three bars. That leads you to the drop-down tab. So go ahead and select those three bars, and you'll see the, the drop-down tab become available. Here's where I'm going to show you all the really cool capabilities that the app has. So the first tab, called About the Festival, takes you to the home page of the app, which we've already seen. So let's click on the second one, called Attendees. It'll ask you if you want to check in to the event. As you check in to the IDRS conference, your little profile will pop up as one of the attendees. And from here, you can see all the individuals attending the conference using the guidebook app. So if you're wanting to know if a certain friend has logged into the guidebook app and is here at the conference, you can find them through looking through the attendees. A really cool feature if you're trying to find some friends who are here. The second tab is the inbox. The inbox is going to be really helpful if there are any important notices that we are trying to let you all know, any changes to the schedule. We'll go ahead and send you a message through the inbox. So if you're using the app through the conference and you see a message pop up, it's probably a friendly reminder or some important new information that we're trying to send out to everyone. The next um, couple of boxes, the notes and the to-do list sections are both um, particular sections purely for our users. So those of you attending the conference, you can use the notes section to take any notes to take home with you from the conference. Same with the to-do list. You can create a to-do list here at the conference or even for you to take home with you. My favorite part <laughs> coming up next is the scheduling capability. If you select the tab that says full lineup, you can see all of the performances, presentations, master classes, everything that's going on at the conference, what time they are, where they are, you are not going to get lost. Um, so say I wanted to select a recital, it happens to be the first one on my list, with this information, you can see their headshot, you can see their performance information as to time and venue, a map 
to that particular venue, as well as all of their programming information so that you can see what's going to be going on at that event. What's great is there are little plus signs next to all of the events. What you can do is select the events that you'd like to go to. Now, if any of them have overlapping times, a schedule conflict box will come up and will let you know that you're not going to be able to make it to both of those events on time, that they will conflict with each other. Once you have selected the events that you would really like to attend and go to, if you click on My Schedule, it's going to show you your personal conference itinerary of all the events that you selected that you would like to go through during the week. It makes it a lot easier than trying to scribble it on pen and paper, so we're really excited for our users to have this option this year. The next part of the app is the maps portion. We have maps of our downtown area. We have maps of our venue spaces so that no matter what, you are not going to be lost during the conference. Everything is within walking distance, whether it's one, one and a half blocks away. So no matter what, we are helping you to get where you need to go and on time. Next on the list is the food and beverage tab. The food and beverage tab lists all of our local eateries, including photos and a brief description of the type of food that they have. It also includes a map to get there. So if you're craving anything in particular or just trying to find somewhere to dine for the evening, feel free to take a look at the food and beverages tab and you will always find somewhere to go. Next on the list is a link directly to our Facebook and Twitter pages for the conference followed by the photo album. Now, if you look in the photo album now, you'll see pictures of the Columbus, Georgia area and some of our venues. What you can do is if you take pictures of any fun times you have at the conference, you and your other oboe friends or your other bassoon friends, um, you can go ahead and add those photos to the photo album so that everyone else at the conference can see all those good times you're having. There's also a frequently asked questions section where you can find answers to all of your burning questions. And lastly, the safety information. If you have any type of emergency or trouble, you'll be able to either find a location where you can get help or phone a location where you can get help. And that's it. That is the guidebook app for this year. Um, we hope you guys are going to take advantage of what awesome things it's going to allow us to do this year at the conference. And if you guys have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. We're here to help. So we will see you all in less than a week. And we can't wait to see you here in Georgia.